Hello everyone, welcome back to Lucky Loaders 15 and in this video I'll be giving you my Lucky 15 predictions for today's horse racing and we kick things off in the 315 at Perth with a horse called Creedon Grey, around about 6 to 1 best odds with bookmakers at the moment, trained by Irish Raider Gordon Elliott who's kind of really getting back into some form now. He had a bit of a quiet summer but his yard have been amongst the winners and he's been sending plenty of winners uh, to Perth this year and this could be another interesting contender. James Byrne is also as well booked for the ride. He's ridden for him twice this season Gordon Elliott when he's had runs over it and he's two from two so that's an interesting stat there and I thought this horse could run really well today off a mark of 102. I thought it could be well handicapped in this field. It's run in a few maiden hurdles over in Ireland against some fair rated horses and I thought really if you look at it today this horse had another interesting chance of going really well and I thought 6-1 to one could be a nice price to maybe have a small each way upon. I could definitely see it running really well. Spy Scorpion as well who likes to stay on trip and I think this horse will stay the 3 miles. So that's going to be the selection there to kick us off. We then go to the 325 at Newton Abbott. These races are going to come in quick succession today on this uh, vlog. We have a horse called What a Night. Round about 72 best odds bookmakers at the moment. Trained by Harry Fry who's stable starting to send out uh, their their best horses now. What a night is uh, one of those horses. Noel Feely as well is booked for the ride. He had an injury a couple of months ago, but he's uh, now back riding. I don't think he's had a winner yet since he's returned, but hopefully this one can uh, come in for him. This horse has probably got to be the most classiest animal in the field off a mark of 142. Some very solid uh, runs last season, especially at Cheltenham. And a lot of these horses are probably going to have to post career best really to beat White Knight in my opinion. However, saying that, he does have to carry top weight, but that wouldn't really concern me. White Knight has run well uh, from breaks in the past before, and I don't really see that as a factor today. And I thought 72, that wasn't a bad price to maybe uh, get stuck into, maybe put in a multi-bet or something. We then go to the 345 at Perth with a horse called Charbel. Around about 2-1 to one best odds at, with bookmakers at the moment. Trained by Kim Bailey and David Bass is booked for the ride. Now again, this is definitely the most classiest animal in the race. Had a good uh, campaign last season and some really decent races. Best bit of form in this race is the fourth in the Tingle Creek, where, Tingle Creek at Sandown when he wasn't uh, far beaten. This horse as well has gone well um, in the past. A couple of years ago it won from its first start after a break for quite a few months. So nothing uh, to worry about there. Last year it's re reappearance finished fourth in a race at Wincanton in um, the uni bet uh, uh, hurdle. But the elite hurdle I should say. But probably was a bit of a strange move uh, that day by the trainer to be honest with you. But I thought Charbel had a good chance here to uh, get back to winning ways. And he could maybe be in for a good season. He might be entered in the champion chase. They, that's where the, they were thinking of going uh, down last year. So Charbel, be interesting to see what he does this season. But I thought today at Perth he could be really good. And all the rest are really going to have to put it to him. Or Charbel's going to have a real down day um, for really him not to win that race. I can... I can't really see him losing that race, really, if he turns up. We then go to the 4 o'clock at Newton Abbott with a horse called Cool McCavity. Ran about 7-1, to one, best odds of bookmakers at the moment. Trained by Alexandra Dunn, who's a name you may not be too familiar with, but she's amongst the winners at the moment. 25 cent strike rate. She's got a small yard, but she can be quite a shrewd uh, trainer, especially in these kind of races, these selling races. Thomas Goodmore is booked for the ride. Now, this horse used to be with Nicky Henson not so long ago and was a fair uh, rated uh, hurdler for him, but kind of went off the boil when this horse was purchased um, and ran at Market Raisin last time out and it finished in third place. And it's actually been uh, dropped eight pounds by the handicap marker for that run. But I thought if you actually look at the context of this, I thought Cool McCavity wouldn't really, it wouldn't take a lot for him to rediscover a glimmer of his form for him to be right bang in contention to win this race. And I thought 7 to 1 was quite a tempting price on this one. And I could definitely see him going well, especially with the stable going well at the moment. And I thought that wasn't a bad selection there. So, yeah, all these races come in quick succession today, but hopefully we can have some winners from those selections. Also, as well, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel here at Lucky Loads 15. You can also follow me on Twitter at Lucky Loads 15 as well also a couple of other things to mention my editing gear isn't here yet so the production quality is still on the iphone and probably will be for another week also as well i'm going to be going to doncaster on thursday uh, for uh, the part of the saint ledger festival but the reason i'm going is because some of you might know that i've been working with the silk series which is a tournament that runs throughout the summer months uh, for female jockeys 
and they compete against each other and it's a kind of a championship and they're going to be presenting um, the trophy on the last uh, leg of the series which is going to be on Thursday so that's why I'm going up to Doncaster I've been doing some filming with them so I've been invited to go along uh, to, to that and I'm really looking forward to that and we'll do some selections if we can at Doncaster on the day so we'll have a Twitter day and uh, like we did last week at Ascot so yeah go and check it out on Twitter if you haven't done so already because that's where it will uh, be posted so go and follow me on there and also as well the St. Ledger preview will probably come up tomorrow even though we won't have the final decks that's because I'm really really busy this week I'm going to be doing a lot of traveling so I don't know when I'll have time so I'll do it uh, tomorrow so yeah we'll go into that tomorrow so yeah that's all I've got to say please subscribe like I said if you haven't done so already please gamble responsibly hopefully we can have some winners today and we'll be seeing you soon